Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you may be. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Ascensions Tarot. So today I'm going to be doing a monthly read for the month of June 2022 for my water signs. So I got to do water and fire, and then I'm going to be doing a bit of collective reads and try to get those up for you guys. I'm sorry. Once again, it took me a minute to get back on track but as you can see I'm in a new space so been moving things around to get this office situated still decorating still doing a lot in here so please work with me but do not worry I am going to get the readings done I'm definitely going to be posting them out so please work with me so yeah for my water signs Cancer Pisces Scorpio Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, or if you are cross-watching for a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you might find information in here that might be helpful to your situation. Please remember to flip, this, flip and switch the roles as needed. I could be talking about you or someone in your energy, your person or someone in their energy. So please pay attention and flip the switch and roll, flip and switch. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my God, flip and switch the rolls as needed. Get some good energy, you guys. Also, please keep in mind, gender is not important. I could say he, it could be she. I could say she, it could be he. So if this does not resonate, do not force it. Do not make assumptions. Some of what will be in this reading will resonate. Some of it won't. Let it flow, let it go, please. Do not force, do not make assumptions, and just go with it. So here we go. We're going to do for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, my water signs. Let's go, you guys. Let's see what we have in the energy for you guys. And this is going to be my first reading in my new office, so I'm excited. So let's, let's tap in. Let's see what we have for you guys. It's right here. So spirit, talk to me, spirit angels. Ancestors of the highest white light, spirit guides. I ask you to help me channel the energy for my water signs, for my Cancer Pisces Scorpio for the rest of June. What do they have coming their way? What is going on in their life? Talk to me. What do they need to be aware of? Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Help me channel and collect the energy needed to provide clarity for this reading. Contemplation. I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think of me too? So you or your person could be contemplating a decision right now. Give me two more for here and then I'll go to the other deck. So I used to have, oops, excuse me, moving secretly. I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. So someone's moving in secret here. Okay. Um, so I used to have this deck and the Breakup Oracle deck together. But I decided something kept telling me to just completely have each deck separate. Except for my What's the Brewing and What's the Tea deck. Those I'm going to leave together because I, I love having those two together. But for every other deck, I decided to just separate them. So due to me doing the earth signs and the air signs with both of these decks in the beginning combined, I'm just going to get three from here and then three from here. We'll break it out like that. So, so contemplating and moving secretly. Hmm. Okay, give me one more from here. Okay, so we have runner. Oh, goodness. And slow down. Reconciliation. So you guys could be thinking about... Some of you could be contemplating moving towards, I'm assuming a twin flame because the runner chaser dynamic is already out here and I see it, um, but someone could be dealing with another party because it says moving secretly. So someone could have a third party in the situation and it's causing them to contemplate even coming your way. This could be you. Remember, flip and switch to roles, please. Or you could feel like this person's moving in secret and it makes you contemplate if you even want to deal with the situation or if you just prefer to just run away and, and 
ghost situation, because you know that's what twin flames do when they feel like things are getting too serious or too heated or too much emotions are in play, especially if there's third parties involved. Third party, let me be clear, third party could be any energy. It could be a, a marriage, it could be another relationship. Well, here we go. Love triangle at the bottom of the deck. But um, it could be friends, family, cousins, moms, uncles, sisters, anybody. It could be freaking anybody. So just keep that in mind. So contemplation, moving secretly, runner. Uh, give me a few divorce elimination so i'm not going to take all of these but i'm going to read them real quick so we have divorce so you or your person could be going through a divorce right now i'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you elimination i'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us waiting game i've been slow to return but maybe it's because i know you'll be waiting and family my focus has been on my family they mean the world to me so i'm getting that Someone that they were married to, that they built a family with, you or your person could be going through a, a divorce and trying to eliminate this from, from getting in the way of you guys. And I, both of you are waiting for each other because both of you know that this is where you want to be, but there's obstacles in the way right now. So, but don't lose hope. Spirit does not, Spirit wants you to know don't lose hope in the situation. Continue to, you know, have a positive mindset about it especially if this is a spiritual connection this is meant to um bring you guys together after all the obstacles are out of the way so we have partying been partying with my friends to avoid being alone at home so somebody's been partying a lot flings i've been sleeping around sometimes one night stand so uh i do not like that energy you first at the bottom of the deck telepathic yeah this is definitely your twin so, you and your twin could be having telepathic communication with one another. You guys could be dreaming about each other or just sending energy to one another. You could feel your twin's energy. You know that you guys are meant for each other. Maybe one of you is awakened and the other one is still going through an awakening or still dealing with, I'm hearing, past life karma. So, we have unsent. Yeah, look at this. Unsent messages, commitment, can't move on. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. When I think about you, I when I think about my future, I see you. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. Desperate, no escape. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if this is a twin flame, there, there definitely won't be no escape. Or this could be someone feeling like they can't escape um, the marriage or a commitment that they were already in. And they're trying and they're desperate to get out of it. They're like, because you see, he kind of looks like he has the same type of clothes on or whatever you're desperate to get away from someone but it's been a process it's been hard especially if it's a divorce you know them things oh lord and jealousy i get jealous when i think of anyone else having you or stealing you away so okay well for my water signs this is interesting so sun moon venus rising north node Let's see what we have here. So, let me see. So, I feel like also someone's contemplating if they want to commit to this situation. Maybe this person just got out of a long-term commitment or a marriage. Maybe they just went through a divorce and they're trying to figure out if they want to just have this party lifestyle. If they just want to, you know sleep around i mean i don't know who really wants to just be throwing it around like that but i mean some people hey some people do um or they could have been dealing with someone that just wanted a fling and that's all it was maybe you told this person you know what if you continue this partying and and doing all this that's fine i'll move on i'll do me but then that's when the jealousy kicks in it's like uh no where are you going you're my person so they want to have this runner runner lifestyle. I'm going to run away. I'm going to go party. I'm going to go fling it out. I'm going to go, you know, think. I, I'm contemplating. I want to give to this, but I'm still contemplating it. But, you know, I'll come back. I'll come back when I'm tired of running, when my legs get tired. I'll come back. But you can't go anywhere because, you know, uh-uh. No, you don't need nobody else. You got me. Like, the. oh, my God. Okay. Mm, I cannot. <laughs> Sorry, but wait, where did they do that at? 
But anyways, let's go for my water sign. Let's dig in here. Let's dig in here. Let's dig in here. Holy Spirit, guide me to the messages I need to know and I need to receive. Help me channel. Help me channel. And what's going on, Spirit? What's going on? Okay, let's go. What do we have for contemplation? Clarify contemplation for me. Page of Cups. So it's con someone's contemplating an apology that they want to make. Someone could want to make an apology to you. Could be a water sign. You could be dealing with another water sign. You can't Pisces Scorpio. So I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think of me too? Yep, you definitely... Oh, what did I just say? Thank you, Spirit, for the clarification. Wow, this is heavy water. Or someone's very in their emotions. Like, very, very strong in their emotions. King of Cups. So someone definitely is in love with you. They strongly love you. There is no like, I love you. It's I'm in love with you right here. This energy, Ace of Cups. They could want to have a brand new, fresh beginning at this love, or you could be meeting new love. New love could be coming in. Ace of Cups energy right here. So we have Page of Cups, King of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Wow, this is like strong right here, you guys. Someone wants to apologize for not pouring their love into you. Because they were contemplating if they really wanted this. Mm. Or maybe, okay, yeah, maybe this person's going to come in and apologize. Once they see you getting new love coming your way, then they're going to, then they're going to, their emotions, their heart chakra is going to activate. That's what I'm hearing, heart chakra activation. So someone's heart chakra is going to open up and they're going to be like, oh no, uh-uh what's going on here you're supposed to be waiting for me no matter what i'm over here doing no matter what i'm over here doing you're supposed to be waiting for me wait hold on come back so it's like okay but every time i give you my energy what the fuck do you do no offense sorry but i'm tired of this i'm tired of the runner you know but this person doesn't want to see you be with anybody else this person is refusing to see you be with anybody else so now they want to come in and offer you their love because they can see you're moving on or they can see that you're closing your energy off to them. So they want to come and apologize for not investing in this love. Because this is a true divine love right here. A lot of water energy. So you could definitely be dealing with another water sign. Yeah. Someone was fighting the connection. Someone was trying very hard to fight the connection. Or this person could be fighting with someone else in the background. Clarify the king of, king of cups and five of wands for me. With the ace of cups. Clarify this energy for me, please, Spirit. What is going on here? Yeah, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, someone that was very fickle. Someone was very in and out of your energy. Someone would come in, you know. You guys were very passionate with each other. Maybe this was you guys' energy, where it's like you guys knew you wanted more from each other. Maybe both of you were in this energy. You both knew you wanted more. But you guys could have been very passionate with each other, very sexual with each other. And just the thought of you guys intimately being with anyone else, it enraged both of you. Maybe both of you felt this energy. Maybe both of you were jealous because you knew that when it was you guys together passionately, it was no comparison to anything that you've ever had before with anyone. So, but you got tired of the fickle energy, the running and the in and out and you probably you probably thought this move the person was doing something in secret and you were just trying to push away but um or this person could have had like i said this person could have had someone that every time they moved on to try to work on this new love with you someone in their energy would come back in to try to manipulate them and and try to keep them bounded to them and they would argue with them or guilt trip guilt, yeah guilt trip i'm hearing they would try to guilt trip them into like feeding into it again. I don't know. Okay. Who is this Knight of Wands in the reverse? Who is this Knight of Wands in the reverse, Spirit? What do I need to know about the Knight of Wands in the reverse? So we have Eight of Wands. So communication is coming. Eight of Wands in the upright. So Knight of Wands in the reverse. So someone could be coming to communicate about this fickle energy that they were in about this in and out and they're going to explain to you what was going on in the background it could be for five days to eight days or five weeks to eight weeks even months you know that's just a don't take that as a 
it's just a estimate because of what I see and what I feel here. Um, yeah, this person could have had a choice between two, two lovers. This could also be a high level soulmate or twin flame energy. The lovers got Gemini energy here and 10 of cups. Yeah, this person is still holding on to you. This person is definitely still holding on to you because they know that you are their 10 of cups. You got four of pentacles still holding on or they had, someone could be holding on to them for financial reasons. Someone that they had a family with, someone that uh, your person could have chose over you. They probably chose to give another situation a chance because they already invested a lot in the situation and there was a lot of finances, assets, especially if it was a situation that was marriage or maybe they purchased assets together, business I'm hearing also. So, um, but this person knows that you're their 10 of cups and they want to give to this love. They know that this is a strong divine love and they want to give to it. But at the same time, it's like, they're not letting go of you. They're holding on to you and they want to offer you an intimate date, a romantic gesture. They could be coming to try to gift you something. They want to give you a gift. Um, yeah, look, 10 of pentacles. You got the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. This, this relationship is a very beautiful power couple union. The Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, but let's see. Okay, Spirit, what is moving secretly for my water sign? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north node. My Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the tower. So we have the tower here. So what's going on with this tower? You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. The Empress. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra. Um, I feel like someone wants to come invest to their Empress. Uh, someone wants to come um, make a stable offer to their Empress Page of Pentacles. Someone wants to offer something to their divine counterpart. But at the same time, there's some type of foundation crumbling in the background. Queen of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Maybe um, this is the divorce that they're going through. Maybe they could be having a tower moment with uh, someone that they had children with, Page Pentacles and the Empress, someone that they have children with, and now they have to um, pay out money to this person via Libra Gemini Aquarius. So now they have to pay out money to this person, but they know that once they get this done with, they can move towards their Ten of Cups. They can move towards this energy that they want to commit to, that they want to give to. So, let's see. Spirit, clarify the Empress in the Tower for me. Clarify the Empress and the Tower for me. The Chariot. Yeah. This person could be moving away from someone that they um, had children with. You could be dealing with a Cancer. There could be some type of legal situation going on. Clarify, yeah, Ten of Swords, some type of betrayal and backstab. Or this person could have finally had an epiphany that they backstab who they were really meant to be with. And now they're moving secretly to come be with you. They want to invest in you. They could have had a tower moment. Something could have came crashing down. Magician, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. Yeah. This person could be manifesting a passionate new beginning with you because they want to invest in this. The Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Magician. You could be a student. You could be working very hard on a creative project right now. Or you could be a student in college or... You could live in a city. But they, somebody wants a passionate new beginning with you. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini with a magician here. I'm also hearing someone could... Oh, goodness, really? <laughs> someone from your past is thinking about you very heavily. And they miss you. But this person could also be doing, like, spell work. This person could be actually a powerful manifester. Like, 
aside from spell work, maybe you're a powerful manifester. You know how to manifest anything that you invest in. Your time, your energy, your finances will lead to passionate beginnings. You will spark whatever you're working on. It will creatively like build your empire up, I'm hearing. Maybe you're moving away from some type of backstab and betrayal that you had with someone and the foundation came crumbling down. But at the end of the day, you're just focusing on your manifestations and creating a passionate new beginning for yourself after all of this is is done with but um can you clarify the chariot ten of swords empress in the tower for me what is this seven of swords yeah some type of lies manipulation sneaky behavior came out so there's something going on here that um could be dealing with the virgo the hermit queen of wands could be dealing with a leo aries sagittarius Someone could be isolating themselves from a Queen of Wands. Um, or they could have been divorcing this person. They're isolating themselves and separating themselves. Or I'm hearing introspection, like looking deeper at something to, to see if they want to continue to invest in this. Maybe they saw something online or something was sent to them about this person. Maybe they got some type of news that led to a foundation coming crashing down. Yeah, they feel like this person's a burden, like the wounded warrior. Like there's too much, yeah, back and forth energy. It could be a third party involved. Three of uh, swords. It could be a heartbreaking situation. And maybe they just need to release the situation. There's too much backstabbing. There's too much betrayals. Too much lying. Sneaky behavior. So someone wants to move away from this and continue to move forward. Someone could literally be moving to a new home, a new location, city, state, country. After they just let this foundation come down. But like I said, you know, if there's children involved, it could be taking some time. And this is what the situation that's going on. But it also could be that, you know, this person didn't see before that you were their empress. You were the person that they were meant to be with. They didn't look at it before like that. But now they're seeing it in a different light. Like they had some type of epiphany, some type of aha moment that brought them very quickly to clarity. And now it's like a whole different picture and a whole different ballgame. Okay, so what do we have for Runner? For Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node. What is Runner? Get the High Priestess. There you go. Someone could be running away from their intuitive downloads. Someone could be running away from a High Priestess. You could probably already know what's going on. Maybe you called this person out on their stuff before. Maybe you were getting downloads about this person. Maybe you do you do work on, on social media. You have a social media platform. This could also be someone moving in silence, making moves in silence. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Clarify the high priestess and the runner for me. Clarify the high priestess and the runner for me. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, right now you're single. Or this is the energy you're trying to focus on moving towards. Your financial stability, looking good, feeling good, smelling good. You know, you're very, you could be, okay, thank you, spirit. You could do spiritual work. Mm, that's another um, way you make income. Yeah, you could be investing in a creative project spiritually and you'd be opening your own business or just doing creative work spiritually, helping others. Or you're using your intuition to work on ways of making income. Or maybe Spirit is just giving you downloads that right now is best um, for you to focus on yourself and your financial stability. Because you have options coming in. Seven of Cups, you have options coming in. This could be career opportunities, could be love opportunities. You have uh, options coming in. So Spirit wants you to uh, focus. Also, this could be um, 
Spirit wants you to use your intuition to guide you out of being confused and stuck in illusions, possibly about money or about love or about this runner chaser dynamic. Maybe, you, maybe you're so confused and stuck in your head and in these illusions that you're not focusing on your finances the way you need to because you're so focused on why is this person running from me? Why are they treating me this way? This is my person. I know this is my person. But Spirit wants you to take a step back and focus on your intuition and do what you're guided to do. Move towards your calling. Move towards your purpose. And yeah, look, this is what you're focused on right now very heavily. The lovers could be dealing with a Gemini. Or like you have multiple love options coming in your way. Something. Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands. Someone has a lot on their plate. Like a lot. I don't know if this is you or your person, but someone is filled with a lot of burdens. There's like so much heaviness in the energy going on in someone's life right now. They could be overworking themselves, trying to find new ways to provide more income for family or children, bills. Yeah, look, Seven of Pentacles, their investments, taking a deeper look at their investments. I'm hearing someone could have been stealing from you. Okay. Because I hear thief, thief, thief. I don't, I don't know. Okay, three of wands. So someone's waiting and planning. Someone's trying to strategize a victory towards you. They want to communicate with you. So clarify the seven of cups and three of wands. What is this? Three of pentacles. Yeah, because they want to collaborate with you. They want a partnership with you. They want to invest in this. Legal, legal contract. Someone could want to work with you, like literally work. So this could be a love situation or a work situation. Someone could want to tell you about some ideas that they have intuitively about a creative project and they want to work with you. Maybe you guys can help each other with stability or finances. But somebody's waiting for something. Someone could be waiting for a third party to be out the picture. Hmm. Yeah, the world, completion of a cycle. Someone could be waiting for a completion of a cycle. You could be at a long distance from this person. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Someone could be waiting for someone to move, make moves, because they want to heal the situation, four of swords. Let's see. Okay, what is partying? What is partying? For Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. What is partying? Oh, These landed on top of moving secretly. Mm, but I actually partying, so this is going to go over here. So for partying, we have the Sun and Three of Cups. Yeah, someone could... <sighs> someone could be seeing someone is partying too much and they don't want to be around this energy anymore. It could be dealing with the Leo. The sun is here. Someone could be enlightened about someone's overindulgent behavior or someone could be getting enlightenment about a third party. Three of Cups. Maybe someone's celebrating too much, partying too much, out doing way too much. Could definitely be dealing with multiples. Maybe someone had... Oh, gosh. Why did I hear this? Someone could be, be having threesomes? What? <laughs> what is going on here? Okay. Maybe someone got enlightened to this? Okay. We could definitely be dealing with the Pisces. Now they feel stuck in a situation. Oh, goodness. What is the sun and the three of cups here for partying? Yeah, this strong Leo energy here. Very strong Leo energy here. Someone also could be having the strength and the courage to go towards their happiness, their true wish fulfillment. What makes them happy? They're being enlightened to, you know, what makes them happy. Maybe they want to give up this partying lifestyle or they want to come in and celebrate this love. They could, You could be meeting this person at a party or you can be... Um, going out and celebrating with your friends and family and someone's going to have the strength and the courage to go towards you because maybe they see you as sunshine you could be meeting this person in the summer something could be happening in the summertime maybe while you're at a festival a celebration 
Mm -hmm. Okay, what is partying with the sun, three of cups, and the strength? What is partying? Okay, way too many, but okay. So justice, king of swords. Yeah, there could be a legal situation going on. Someone's having a lot of mental conflict with some type of legal situation that might be going on. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Justice, Libra energy. So someone could be trying to balance their life out, but they're waiting for this court situation to be over. And they're stuck in a lot of mental conflict because of this. Someone could be getting enlightenment about a Leo or Libra or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in a court situation about a third party. Someone could be waiting to announce some things in court about someone's partying ways and flings. I don't know. Um... This could also be someone very wise and intelligent and methodical starting to make decisions, more wise decisions. Maybe they're, this epiphany came about someone that they were with and now they're having the strength and the courage to just take this person to court and just let court handle it because they're tired of stuck and being mental conflict about the situation and they just want to end it. They want to go towards celebrations and happiness. What is flings? Yeah, someone could be ending something. Knight of Swords in the reverse. So maybe this person wants to come in towards you, but right now it's stuck, it's stagnant, and maybe someone could be pissed off too. Someone's pissed off about something. Maybe they found out that you were having flings with other people, or maybe you're pissed off that you found out about some flings. So we have Nine of Wands. This energy kept wanting to pop out the whole time. So Nine of Wands, someone's in Wounded Warrior. Someone has way too many burdens, way too much things on their plate right now. They're feeling defeated. They're feeling defeated and stuck in something. They want to make moves forward, but they feel like it's too hard. There's too many burdens going on. Okay, what is the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords in the reverse for the water sign? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node. What do we have here? And I'm sorry this video is a little long, y'all, but um, <clears throat> I have to have to get what I see here. So apologize in advance, you know, sorry, sorry. I'm going to be working on trying to make shorter videos, my bad. But so we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So clarify this Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles here for? Yeah, someone could be ending a marriage or ending a situation with um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Scorpio. But um, I'm also seeing that someone could have been investing in someone only for financial reasons. Um... Maybe this is the person that you or your person was married to. They were only in it for the money or... Clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the death. Yeah, look, thank you, Spirit. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is someone that they um had a family with or investments with. And they're starting to see this in a different light. And now they're pissed off. They're like, oh my God, I wasted my time on this shit. I have other investments I want to make. Or maybe this person wants to invest. You or your person wants to invest in a Queen of Pentacles. Someone that's stable. Someone that's loyal. Someone that is a boss bitch energy. Boss daddy energy. Remember, gender is not important. Flip and switch the roles. Male or female. does not matter. But someone wants to invest in this Queen of Pentacles now. Because they're seeing this as their Ten of Pentacles. They know that they could probably make boss moves with this person. So they're ending a situation from the past that keeps them stuck and in burdens. And they're pissed off about it. They're tired of like investing in the wrong situation. So they want to move towards this uh, Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you guys could be working together. As I said earlier, maybe you guys could um, feed off of each other's ideas and open some type of business with one another. Yeah, look, Eight of Pentacles, exactly. Creative projects, maybe you guys could be working on a creative project together, help each other build financially. 
yeah towards a passionate new beginning so this could wow this could actually be very strong this could be like a power couple type of thing where it's good you guys are going to give love equally to each other but you're also going to help each other glow up financially so maybe at first you or your person only thought that this was a fling maybe this is how it started off where it was like very hot and heavy at first and then you're starting to see that this person or they're starting to see that this is where I do want to invest in. This is what I want to go to. Someone could be going through a transformation, a death of an ego I'm hearing. Maybe someone was very prideful and in their ego before. That's all out the window. They went through a transformation. They're going through a glow up. You or your person is going through a glow up. And now they know where they want to invest. They know where their time, their energy, their love, and their money needs to go. Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles. Someone, they left someone out in the cold that was partying way too much. Someone got left out in the cold that was partying way too much. Five of Pentacles. So they, they're just walking away from this person and they want to go towards over here. Maybe when you guys, I hear, oh my God. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe when you guys are intimate with each other, it's very healing. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, the Hierophant, maybe this is a spiritual guru, um, a spiritual leader, maybe someone's getting rid of their old traditional beliefs, like listening to what everybody else wanted them to do. Maybe they're just walking in their own power. They're walking into their own path and they don't care what anybody has to say. This could be you or your person. Like you're chasing after what you want. You don't care what anybody has to say because you know where your heart is. You know where you want to go. But um, what I was hearing about the, the the sexual energy is like when you guys are with each other and you guys are intimate with each other, you guys heal each other in a way. Like the sex between you guys is very healing. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> King of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Pentacles. So we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So like I just said earlier, power couple. Right here, power couple. You guys can help each other glow up. What do we have for jealousy? For my water signs. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone could be juggling and someone's very like, no, we don't need to be doing all that. Like, why, why are we doing this? We know what we want. So why? Or someone could feel imbalanced right now. Someone's trying to balance the scales. Someone's trying to balance... Uh, you be dealing with a Libra for me to say it that way. Because I was just going to say balance their energy, balance their life. But balance is because you be dealing with a Libra. Um, but two of pentacles. Why is two of pentacles here with jealousy? Someone's trying to get balance. Balance situation out now. Because they don't want you with anybody else. They're like, no. I know you're my person. We could power couple this up together. We know we both want. Yeah, but someone, four, four of cups. Maybe someone rejected you before or you rejected someone's offer before. And now it's like you could be moving on. Your person could be moving on. And now both of you are looking at it in a different way. So you got four of swords. You could be seeing four, four. I've actually been seeing four, four, four for the past couple of days. Um, so you're being divinely protected. You have your, oh, excuse me, spirit. Um. Spirit is protecting you and your person. Spirit is protecting this union. Both of you could be acting very stubborn right now. It's like you guys know you want each other, but you guys are both, maybe both of you run away from each other often. It's like when one's chasing, one's over there running. But of course, that's how twin flames work. So, but um, someone's going through healing. Someone could be uh, needing to rest more, rejuvenate their energy, self-love, self-care. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, and Two of Pentacles. What is this energy with jealousy for my water signs? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something is coming in very slow. Maybe that's what is making you guys think all this jealousy and everything. Because you feel like it's coming so slow. It's like, when is it going to get here? What's taking so long? Why is it taking so long? I know I want you. I feel you want me. I feel your energy. Yeah, your Emperor. So we already have the Empress here. So your Divine Match. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Divine Masculine. Doesn't have to be an Aries. Could just be your Divine Masculine. Your Divine Counterpart. 
but um this person's coming in yeah they're going towards their life purpose and you have good news on the way this could also be news about a child page of wands some type of secrets is coming out you could be dealing with a cancer or pisces someone couldn't have been doing moon magic to get pregnant someone could have been doing sex magic to try to get pregnant it can be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, King of Wands. But someone's taking action. Someone's taking action. And they have good luck on their side. This could be you, Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Because they want to heal a situation. The star. They see you as their star. They could have had other options before. But they know you are the one. You are the one I want to be with. You are the one that I want to invest in. You are my star. You could also be um, view in the public for something that you do. So we have that as well. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Okay. So um, let's see. What do we have for the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Four of Cups, and Two of Pentacles? Yeah, someone has a lot of burdens right now on their plate. This could be you or your person. Or it's like, I want to give to you, but right now I have a lot on my plate, but I don't want to see you move on. Like, both of you could be in this energy. Like, you don't want to see each other with anyone else, but you guys are conflicted. Like, do you want this? Do you not want this? Look, Ace of Pentacles, a divine blessing is coming your way. Some type of financial matter could be coming your way, too. This could be a new career opportunity, a promotion, career change, something that's going to lead you towards success. Yeah, and you don't see this coming. You do not see this coming because when I had just part the deck, I saw the two of swords. So you don't see this coming your way. You could all, you, even when it comes your way, you could be a little uh, guarded, I'm hearing. But it's going to lead you towards a brand new beginning. The Fool, because you know what an Aries or an Aquarius, is going to lead you towards a brand new beginning. Take a leap of faith on something. Especially if it's with your twin. Maybe you and your twin are meant to work with each other. Four of Wands. Or you could be uh, getting a new home. Moving into a new home. Okay, so. so I'm so sorry this is long, you guys. I don't know. I always say I'm not going to make them long and then I get into my readings and I'm just like all the way in it. But let's see. So we're going to use the Guess Who deck to see what we have here. Who's coming your way? What, what kind of work they may do? What can be involved? So let's see. So, spirit from my Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What is this? What is this? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node for the month of June. For the month of June, what do we have? We have fire signs, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could play an important part in this. Maybe you have that in your chart or they have that in their chart. So we have innovator, childhood friend. You could have known this person growing up or maybe this was a, a childhood. Maybe they were in a relationship with someone that they needed to move away from that they've known since childhood or this was who they were married to. Maybe they were with high school sweethearts or something and they needed to go through their own situation. I don't know. Artistic. Your person could be very artistic. Pessimist. Manufacturing. Starseed. Yes. Lovely. Especially my high priestess. Yes. So, uh, realtor. Someone could definitely be getting a new home. Someone could have just gotten a new home. Someone could be moving or maybe someone works in real estate. Similar interests. Business owner. So you or your person could have a business. 
a close friend of the family, out of school, and picky as fuck. Wow. <laughs> oh, picky as fuck. Man. Juggling. Yeah, look, there you go. That third party crap. Someone could have been juggling. Brief encounter. Maybe you and your person are going to have a brief encounter in June. Assertive. Uh, dating apps. Someone could be going on dating apps. I, I mean, I don't judge anybody for that. I don't personally use those things, but whatever. Uh, corporate climber. Someone could be climbing up the corporate scale or investing in moving on up that ladder. Yes. Smiles when they see you. Oh, that is beautiful. Let me see them smile, you guys. Okay, so we have circle of friends. You guys could share the same circle of friends or maybe the circle of friends were in the way of you guys building upon one another, building upon uh, each other and someone had to let go of their friends. All this partying and stuff. Narcissist. Yeah, maybe their friends had them in narcissist behavior. Mm -hmm. Former car colleague. You guys could have worked together or maybe you're... Well, yeah, you guys could have met through work. You and your person could have met through work. Creepy as fuck. So someone's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Maybe someone they had to, like, release, let go. Um, married, yeah, someone that they were married to could have been creepy as fuck. Maybe they're, like, getting illuminated to this. Or your person's married. You could be married. Parent of a friend. Okay. Uh, works with their hands someone you dated briefly so maybe some of you had dated each other or you guys were on the path to date each other and then something happened and it caused you two to separate usually how it goes especially with twin flames so uh next door neighbor y'all y'all messing with the neighbors the neighbors know y'all name <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let me stop. So, pushover. Scientist. Roommate. Are they going to be rooming with each other? Socialite. Maybe they, maybe they had a situation where they were living with someone. Or maybe this marriage was it turned into just like a roommate situation where there was no love and passion there anymore. And it was literally just like a roommate agreement type of shit then. And then releasing that person... You or your person can be very intuitive. And it landed over here on top of all this water energy. So definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, I have some water in my chart. So I can I can attest to that. Blue collar worker. And give me a few more spirits so I can move on. Give me a few more, please. A few more so I can move on. Around the same age. Father figure. Humanitarian, intellectual, higher education. As I said earlier, you or your person could be in, in school right now, getting a degree or working on something, maybe taking classes for something that you want to do career-wise. So parasite, oh God, someone's sucking the life out of someone. To, yep, whoever this party animal is. Whoever this party animal is, there you go. Father figure around the same age you guys could be around the same age maybe there's an age gap there age difference a uh, long lost friend maybe you guys okay what i'm getting through here is maybe you guys reach out for each other all the time and you guys want to be around each other but it's it's difficult casually obsessed at the bottom of the deck casually obsessed and then we have friend of a friend i feel like friends or people that they grew up with had a big reason why you guys didn't work out then we have employee at the bottom so you guys definitely could have met at work or worked together but i i feel very strongly that friends had a big or not just friend, maybe family or people that you or your person grew up with had a lot to do with 
why you guys weren't coming together. Maybe it was karmic energy that kept y'all guys apart and now you guys want to come back together. But you guys are contemplating it. You are your person. Someone's in contemplation. Okay, what do we have for Island Time Wellness for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. So we have Palm Tree and that landed right on top of... Um, contemplation so stability security growth endurance flexibility someone's contemplating if this will be stable if this will be the right move to 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 bring security okay so we have soulmates soul connection partnership agreement soul contract the runner again you guys again this, oh, wow someone's running someone's running from this love yeah look so fear of intimacy listening to the ego and then what love unconditional love passion oneness affection attraction someone's running from this love someone's scared to invest in this love this could be you or your person so hammer sabotage rebuilding repetitive persistent working on it not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage ego issues jealousy someone's dealing with a karmic right now this is why you and your person are probably not together. You could be dealing with the karmic. You could be trying to go through a divorce, separating from someone, separating from a long-term commitment, maybe someone you had children with. Someone's dealing with a karmic relationship in this situation, and maybe you, they're getting tired of that relationship. It's not enough, and they just want to like let it go. Or they're sabotaging this love that's unconditional that they want, and they feel it, but they're sabotaging it because they don't they probably feel like they're not enough and they're so used to dealing with karmic relationships that they don't know how to handle a divine union someone doesn't know how to handle a divine union so girl talk is that, what did i say about the friends time with friends moving on living in the moment having fun yet yeah, someone's definitely involving their friends in the situation or listening to what their friends think or what their friends have to say what else? Give me a few more, Spirit. Give me a few more. Give me a few more. So addiction. Yep, yep. Addictions could be involved in this situation. Codependent, obsession, possessive, controlling has a block. The sword and rose. Clarity, truth, force, honor, protection, power. So... Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, as I said. Wedding rings. Uh, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Twin flame. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, because I know what I'd be talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, coupling, complementing each other. So you're dealing with your twin, but someone here is married or in a long-term commitment or investment that is going through some type of like, it's codependent. It's not even like there's love there anymore. Somebody's just very codependent in the situation and they're scared to move forward. But some type of epiphany is coming or some type of change is coming that's gonna rock you. It's gonna be a tower moment, I'm feeling, especially because it was over here. And you're going to receive some type of truth and clarity that's going to give you a new revelation on how this whole dynamic is. Maybe you didn't know before. Maybe, like I said earlier, one of you was awakened and one of you wasn't. But um, somebody's mask is coming off. You or your person could have been wearing a mask, not showing true feelings, hide, gaslighting, separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So you and your twin could be separated right now. Maybe you guys never gave each other the real truth and clarity of how you feel about each other. Maybe you guys were always running from each other when one was chasing. And it calls y'all to be in this like, okay, you, you don't care. I know you don't care. I love you, but I know you don't care. Or maybe this person you had to give up because this person was married or you were married and you couldn't invest in this person the way you wanted to. But you guys will be meeting soon. Coffee cup kisses because there is unconditional love here there's giving and receiving falling in love you guys do have feelings for each other it's deep attached deep emotions there's a soul connection bond here meeting and converse conversing 
feeling uplifted, savoring the moment. So you guys are going to be meeting, could be for coffee, but you guys are going to be meeting soon to discuss something that you're going to get truth and clarity about. Maybe you didn't know that you were this person's twin. Maybe you had no idea you were this person's twin, but you're going to receive some type of truth and clarity about why you guys are always in this on and off energy, why you guys are always running away from each other, why you're scared to invest, why your person's scared to invest. Something is coming to the light. So, um, yeah, so let's get some. Oh my God, this video is super long. I think this is the longest one I did for the signs, but whatever. Hopefully I can provide clarity to my water signs. So let's see. Soulmate. Your soulmate is, a, is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Maybe you want to reconcile with your soulmate. Maybe you've been thinking about them, dreaming about them, seeing synchronicities, angel numbers, some type of signs that they're coming your way. So the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to follow it with faith. So you could be releasing the path, the past to go to your path. That's what I meant to say. You could be releasing the past to go towards your, your life purpose, your calling, maybe connecting with your twin again or, you know, but you have to be patient. Timing is at play. Divine timing is very important here. So, oh my God. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I love it. So time, you are trying too hard. Give it time. So divine timing, as I just said, but look, look at the bottom. Twin flame. Oh my God, this light. Okay. Twin flame. Your passion ignites. Oh, you guys could be getting passionate with your twin soon. Okay. You and your... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only time will tell. At the bottom. Oh, Lord, you guys. You guys could be getting it popping with your twin soon. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this is the messages I have for my... Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment below if it does resonate. I would love to hear from you guys. And I will be seeing you guys again soon. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. So this was for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. I don't know. I can't. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Lois. Sorry, you guys. My little energy got. Anyways, so, yes. There you go. So, I will see you guys soon. Have a great morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you may be. Take care and divine blessings to you and yours. Bye.